Riverside has designed an approach to education for our children who are with us under the Right to Education Act that ensures that their academic needs and their well-being are addressed. The academic program is kicked off by first conducting a home visit uh, for the children to understand the background from where they come in. And to reduce the achievement gap, one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions are conducted through the entire year so that uh, the academic rigor can be uh, sustained. Yes. All right, so my first sound is run. Fan. And retention is further uh, ensured by uh, the Riverside team conducting a summer school through the holidays. This is a chair or is this a sofa? Riverside understands that the first uh, teacher of a child is its parent and uh, the investment in the parent becomes a very fundamental uh, part of the design of the experiences. This investment in our parents is done through multiple ways. We conduct uh, academic workshops such as maybe computer, language or math. <laughs> We also conduct a well-being workshops. It could be around hygiene and nutrition for the children. Uh, by doing this, we have found that the parents are able to then take this investment back into the home and interact with the child with more confidence. All of this has meant that our parents believe that they're a really integral part of the Riverside community. My name is Santi, my son is Saga. Riverside would like to advocate that uh, the right to education model is not an either or, that but when designed as an inclusive program, then no child will be left behind. What do you think he's doing here? He's drawing a paper and he's playing with a toy. Okay. What do you think bubbles is? Is this a bubble? Yeah. Or is that bubbles? Yeah, they both are bubbles. Both are bubbles? Yeah. Okay, let's see. There is a saying that it requires a village to raise one child. Uh, we believe the same when we talk about children at Riverside, that the entire uh, Riverside community needs to come together to uh, build the well-being and the academic progress of our children. So at Riverside, we have teachers who constantly uh, stay updated about the act. We visit various schools to understand the best practices of RTE at their schools. We also meet experts to understand the legalities of the act. 
we have parents who come in and become a strong support system for these children. We also have the older buddies who come and who work with these children and take care of their social, emotional, physical and cognitive growth. Bro. Any, any word? What tell me? Brown. Brown. And the, these buddies become a very, very strong strategy for a class teacher to use. So it is not just one teacher who is teaching in the classroom, but if each child has one buddy, then it becomes 20 teachers teaching 20 children in the classroom.